Hi guys, so welcome back here at DEC Engineering Tutorials. So this time is continuation pa rin to sa degree of indeterminacy na uh, topic natin. So this time is we're going to uh, understand uh, unstable structure using the SWFEE, the finite element analysis, uh, 2D frame analysis, the Android app. No? This, this is free to download and or free to install doon sa Google Play Store. So, sa previous na session natin is uh, we discussed a stable structure and we use a build a bridge app to uh, visualize yung unstable structure. No? So, again, just a recap. So, meron tayong apat na uh, way para ma-determine kung geometrically unstable yung structure natin. So, meron tayong case 1 to 4. So, bali yung cases na to is gagam gagamitin, i-illustrate natin to using the uh, SWFEE 2D frame analysis na under that. Okay? So, bali dito sa case 1. So, this is not enough reaction. Kasi kulang tayo dito ng uh, roller support. No? So, if we count the number of reaction here, we only have 2 for hinge. So, bali yung degree of indeterminacy natin dito is uh, we have 2 minus 3 plus 0. So, we have negative 1. No? So, this is less than 0 meaning this is unstable. So, kulang tayo ng one support reaction. So, probably yung i-add natin para ma-analyze natin to is uh, roller support. No? So, ito yung kulang. Diba? So, yung case to naman is if parallel yung uh, support reaction. So, tulad ito, no? roller tayo lahat. So, parallel siya. No? So, di natin pwede gamitin yung, yung formula for external and internal indeterminacy. Kasi kung kukunin mo yung number of reaction ito, meron kang tatlong uh, roller support. So, meron kang tatlo. No? So, ibig sabihin yung, yung R minus 3 plus AC mo is 3 minus 3 plus 0. So, you have 0, no? However, do 0 siya. Pero, since parallel yung mga support reaction natin, unstable siya, no? Kasi kung lalagyan mo yan ng applied load dito, so kung lalagyan mo yan ng uh, lateral load dito, so ibig sabihin, free to translate yung beam natin, no? Due to roller, so bali mag-move yung ano natin, no? yung beam natin. Diba? So, unstable siya. So, yan yung sinasabi na case 3. Pag parallel yung uh, reactions. Yung case 3 is pag concurrent yung reaction. Ha? Example, may reaction ka dito. May reaction ka dito. May reaction ka din dito. So, magmi-meet sila at a common point. meet sila. So, parang ma mangyayari is parang magiging moment R nyo ito, no? So, kung mag-a-apply tayo ng, ng load, na incline, so may, may tendency na itong beam na to is mag-move siya. No? Magta-translate siya. So, kahit compute natin yung ano nito, so, parang ganito, parang yun. Uh, ito parang yung makukuha natin. Pero, pero based on geometry niya, so di natin pwede sabihin na determinate yan. Though yung degree of indeterminacy niya is zero. So, but still we consider it unstable due to its concurrent na reaction. No? So, kaya meron tayong uh, 
apat na case. No? Yung case 1 ng yung mga gamitan natin na formula. Yung remaining case 2 to 4, uh, D na. So, for case 4, uh, ito yung sa trust mechanism natin. So, ito yung mahirap din i-determine kung unstable siya. So, anyway, example, ito yun. No? So, kung mag-a-apply tayo ng, ng load dito, so yung tendency is magiging ganito siya. May kita mo na may uh, translation yung ano niya. So, unstable siya. Ito yung natawag na uh, internal internal collapse mechanism. So, ganun, no? So, parang magsisway lang siya. Ano. Medyo wala talaga siya, ano. Parang wala siyang strength. So, anyway, let's prove that using the SW app. So, yung gagawin lang natin, punta lang tayo dun sa Google Play Store. So, dito sa Play Store natin, uh, search lang natin yung SW FA. And ito yung makikita natin, no? So, this is developed by software. So, meron siyang uh, 100k plus na downloads. So, install nyo lang siya, then open. So, sa akin, since naka-install na siya sa device ko, so, I just click open. So, ito yung interface niya. So, hanapin lang natin yung origin para doon tayo mag-start. So, So, meron tayong 0 then 0 dito. So, dito ako magkaan ng load. Click here. Then, click tayo dito sa 0, 0. So, try lang natin mga 10 meters siguro na lang. Ng beam. And then, dito meron tayong add frame element and add thrust element. So, yung thrust element, wala siyang shear, wala siyang moment. So, aksya lang. Yung add frame element, so, common to for frame and beams. So, Bali, meron siyang shear action ang moment. So, ito yung gagpili natin. Si beam yung imamodel. So, just click the start point and the end point. And then, add tayo ng hinge uh, support. So, ito yung case 1 natin. Ha? So, ito yung pinakita ko. So, let's see. Lagyan natin ng load yan. And distributed load for its entire length. Click save. So, ito, no? So, may kita mo dito, analysis fill. So, hindi niya ma-analyze. So, ibig sabihin, unstable yung structure. So, kung maglalagay tayo ng ruler support dito, so, kaya niya nang i-analyze yan. Let's say add. Ayan. So, meron na siyang shear. Uh, meron na siyang actual force, uh, diagram. Uh, meron na siyang bending moment diagram. So, meron na siyang subali na analyze na siya. So, ganun lang yun. For case 1. For case uh, 2. Sabi natin, case 2. Okay. Yung case 2 is pag parallel yung uh, reactions. So, let's say, click tayo dito sa origin. Siguro mga 10 meters. And, lagi 10 meters dito. Again, uh, beam yung i-model ko. So, at frame element lang ako. Uh, meron siya ng actual shear and moment. Uh, click again. So, ganyan, no? So, add tayo dito ng uh, roller support para resume sa problem natin. Add. Let's click again. Roller. Add. Let's click again. Add roller. Uh, add tayo ng load gravity dito sa entire length na to add 
Tsaka dito din sa entire length na to. Ayan, so analysis uh, field siya. So, di nyo ma-analyze. So, yung gagawin lang natin is gawin natin hinge na. Para at least uh, may magre-restrain nung movement niya along x-axis. So, Disipalitan natin niya ng hinge. Ayan, so ma-analyze niya. Diba? So, this is a stable uh, structure na. So, meron na siyang bending moment. Uh, meron na siyang uh, actual force diagram. Hindi mo na makita kasi zero. Uh, meron na din siyang shear force. And so on and so forth. Mar marami pa yan dito. Okay. So, yan yung sa case 2. Kung parallel yung support reaction. Parang ganito. Analysis field. So, check yung model. So, for case 3, say, case 3, so, yung case 3 natin, if concurrent yung uh, support reaction natin, so, yung sinagdadagdag tayo dito na at origin, so, we have 0, 0, uh, let's say, mga 10 meters na siguro yung length ng beam natin. Ah, tatlo yung support, yeah? Support. So, next is at 20 meter. Ngayon, uh, add tayo ng frame element again. Click start, click end. Frame element. Click start, click end. So, silagyan natin to ng roller support dito na part so bali dito siguro na punta tayo na ulit ulit so sa kabila sya na Ito, and then, para same siya sa example natin. Ito is naka 90 degrees na. Okay. And then, ito naka... Ay. Ito yung naka 45. So, ayan. Na? So, ito yung 45. And then, apply tayo ng loading kung ma-analyze niya. So, nagyan na lang natin gravity loads, entire length niya. Save. And then, uh, click distributed load. Uniform lang tayo. No? And then, uh, save. So, may kita mo dito, analysis field. Check daw natin yung model. So, meaning, unstable yung structure na to. So, para maging stable to, so, kailangan may mag-restrain sa direction niya, no? Yung translation niya, sa degrees of freedom natin. Kailangan may mag-restrain. So, kung lalagyan natin to ng, or change natin to into hinge, ayan, so, na-analyze yan. So, meron na siyang axial diagram, meron siyang shear, and meron siyang bending moment. So, meron siyang uh, axial shear and bending. So, ganun yung case 3 na unstable. No? So, kung roller to, so, magiging concurrent yung uh, forces, mag-meet up sila at a common point. So, unstable na tas. So, anyway, meron na tayong mga FAE, finite element analysis. So, madali nun i-determine kung unstable or uh, stable yung structure na? kasi mag sabihin nyo na may mali sa sa model mo okay? di ba sa mga computer software meron din uh, 
this Android M2. Sa computer software, it's maganda. Uh, you can also check the model kung may error or wala. Okay, so yung last case niya is yung case 4. So, let's say case 4. And let's create. So, ito yung sa trust mechanism. So, model lang natin yung trust. So, let's say dito ako sa origin. So, yung mga 10 meters lang. And uh, 10 meters. 10 meters. Okay, so, add tayo. So, ito yung gagamitin ko, yung trust element. Take lang natin ito. And trust element. Click natin ito. Add trust element. And add trust element. Ayan. So, yung kulang na lang natin is support. So, yung support dun sa problem natin. Sa example, is naka-hinge. Yung dalawa. Ayan. So, kung mag apply tayo ng uh, nodal point load, kasi trust tayo, kino-convert natin sa nodes yung ano natin. So, let's say mga 180 degrees para lateral. Save. So, may kita mo dito, analysis flow. So, mali. Mali yung ano natin. Unstable bali yung structure. So, kung magdadagdag tayo ng nodal point load, so, let's say dito na lang. Uh, vertical. So, ganun pa rin. Ha? So, kasi yung structure mo talaga, geometrically, unstable na siya. So, ito yung sa case for. So, merong internal hinge uh, uh, internal mechanism, collapse mechanism, ang tinatawag na. So, yeah, so I hope may natutunan kayo for uh, unstable structure or ways of determining the unstable, uh, unstable structure. So, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe and uh, if you want to be updated with our uh, uh, daily uploads, so, just click the notification bell for more updates. So, see you sa next na video natin. Thank you.